Hello everyone, and today we have a Porsche Boxster in 981, which has been suffering with a parasitic battery drain. Typically when you lock the car overnight, next morning, unlock the car, it doesn't unlock, and the battery's dead. Customer already fitted a brand new battery, and the issue is still there. What we've done at the moment is in order to diagnose the drain, we've connected a multimeter in series. So here I've disconnected the negative battery terminal and connected one end of the multimeter to the negative battery terminal. I've then connected the other end of the multimeter to the actual terminal on the battery. And we've just put this on amp setting and we can see it's currently drawing two amps. Now it's understandable, obviously the doors are open, the lights on, etc., etc. So what we need to do now is to jam the door pins on the car and then um, lock the car. So in order to jam the door pins, just take the screwdriver, push it in the pin and push it all the way back and you'll see the window goes up. But let's do the same on the passenger side. Just get that screwdriver in here and take the window up. Next step now is to lock the vehicle. So effectively the vehicle thinks it's closed with the exception of the bonnet. Uh, if we look at the multimeter now, it's drawing about three amps. Now we'll lock the vehicle and let's see what that drops down to. So it's obviously going to pull a bit more while it locks and the vehicle goes to sleep. Okay, so the DRLs have gone off and uh, it sits at about two amps. Now we've left this car for up to a couple of hours and it still sits at around two amps. Now, this is where you have to be methodical and you have to de-energize each circuit on the car. Now we're starting off with a fuse box on the passenger footwell, but you ha may have to potentially do this on all the fuse boxes. What we found in this vehicle is if we pull out 15 amp fuse here and the 15 amp fuse here, right, which is effectively fuses number two and four on row B, we found the drain stopped. So you can see now the parasitic drain is down to about 150 milliamps. Now that's the lowest we got it on this car. So, fuses number two and number four, looking at the fuse diagram, primarily control the well, power, the BCM, under the passenger seat in the UK, driver's seat on left-hand drive vehicles. Uh, we removed the seat and we checked the BCM and there was no evidence on the control board of any um, corrosion, water damage, etc., etc. But what we did find was when we plugged the BCM back in, the indicators started flashing, but uh, the alarm didn't go off. So we said, hang on a second, let's unplug the alarm and see what happens. So we reinstalled the fuses for the BCM. Doors pins are still jammed and we've just unplugged the alarm horn. So the alarm horn's here next to the battery. We've unplugged the horn and you can see it's drawing Four and a half amps. If we lock the car now, this drops to 3.8. This is where we were, two amps. Two hundred milliamps. There you have it, 50 milliamps. Turns out the alarm horn is keeping the body control module awake. So let's take a, this alarm horn out and have a look at it. So we split the alarm horn and straight away you can see it looks like the battery's leaked out onto here. Just remove the circuit board. Not that I think this is gonna work anymore. And you can see the battery's leaked and it's damaged the circuit board. 
Okay, let's fit a new horn. The part number for the horn is one kilo eight nine five one six zero five Bravo. So we've got a new horn from Volkswagen. Part number is one kilo zero nine five one six zero five Foxtrot. We had to change a wire wire here because the pin was corroded. So we're going to plug this in now and then test the vehicle. That's all plugged in now and we're drawing about seven amps. If we go ahead and lock the vehicle now, you can see because the bonnet's open, it's already made a bit of a chirp. Two amps. Still going to sleep. There we have it. We're about 190 milliamps. And uh, we've then tested this vehicle, left it for a few days. It's actually up to a week at one point and absolutely fine no more parasitic battery drain so yes very common fault on Volkswagen alarm horns which are obviously fitted to Porsches but in this case the leaking battery caused the body control module to stay awake and as we're as we're still recording that's down to 50 60 milliamps a bit of fluctuation so we hope you found our video useful and if you did, please hit like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.